With travel beginning to resume, the Hilton Garden Inn, located in Owings Mills, wants you to know they have their clean stay program utilizing all social distancing with all areas of the hotel disinfected. 410-654-0030. 410 It is 836. It was one of my favorite stories, political stories of last year. And uh, a stunning upset in June of last year in a special election, mm -hmm. uh, Myra Flores uh, won for the first time uh, in 150 years. A Republican took uh, this seat in the 34th District in the U.S. House of Representatives uh, over, um, again, a strongly favored uh, Democrat. Uh, and uh, she, of course, uh, spent a little time in Congress, and then they reconfigured the district in order to get her out because uh, she scared the pants and dresses off of the, um, the politicians there. She joins us now on our Newsmaker Hotline, former uh, Congresswoman Myra Flores. Congresswoman, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be here. Thanks for being here with us. Appreciate it. Yeah, it is our pleasure. We're going to get to your new uh, role here at uh, Americano Media in uh, just a second. But you grew up in a in a family of Democrats. Uh, you were brought here as a child from Mexico with your, your parents. Uh, what convinced you? What persuaded you? What did you see in the Republican Party uh, that um, you kind of broke from the mold? Well, um, as you know, I... I was born in, in Burgos, Tamaulipas, Mexico, but we were raised with strong conservative values. You know, yes, my, my dad voted Democrat, but he raised me a Republican, but didn't know it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he, he raised me to be pro-God, pro-life, pro-family, all about hard work, and that resonates with the Republican Party. And it was a family member who brought it up to my attention. We're the same age, and we grew up the same way, with the same values, and she said, do you actually know what you're voting for? And that was back in 2010. And I, and I was very honest with her, I, and I said, actually, I don't. I don't know what each party stands for. And she said, I, you should do your research. And then I said, okay, let me do my research. And, but I, I know I'm a Democrat. <laughs> well, after I did my research, I realized that I that I was Republican, that my values aligned with the Republican Party. And, and I told her, I was like, oh, my gosh, you're right. Um, I'm Republican. And I went back and told my dad, and, yeah, it wasn't as easy. My dad was like, no, no, there's just no way. And I was like, Dad, you raised me a Republican. Like, look at the values. And, yeah, it took him a long time for sure uh, to realize. He's a Republican now, but it took him longer but I, I started educating my family as well. And in 2016, 90%, more than 90% of my family were voting Republican and, and saw that if, it, if I was able to convince my family, what if I joined the local GOP and started reaching out to the community and educating the community on the different platforms? Because I wanted my community to know exactly what they were voting for. I wanted them to understand who they were voting for, the party they were voting for. And once they realized that, they would realize, like, oh, I don't agree with them. It's all a lack of misinformation in South Texas. Uh, for, uh, Congresswoman, if I might, uh, the, uh, a blogger paid by your general uh, election opponent, uh -huh. uh, who, who was uh, Vincente Gonzalez, a, a blogger Correct. paid by them. During the campaign, called you, and I'm, th these are offensive terms, I'm sorry for that, Miss Frijoles or Miss Enchiladas, or just called you a, quote, cotton-picking <laughs> liar. Uh, 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 I take yeah. offense at that. Did you? Very, if, ab absolutely, especially because he's not offending me. He's offending, he's not just offending me, he's offending an entire community. I'm proud to, you know, to love frijoles and I'll have frijoles all day, all night. <laughs> like, you know, it, it's not that. It's him thinking he can offend me by calling me Miss Frijoles, Miss Enchiladas. Like, really? Like, I honestly was not expecting so much hate from the left. I knew I was going to get attacked. I had no idea that they were going to be racist towards me to the point that they were telling me to go back to Mexico, that 
they didn't want someone like me here. Um, it was it was things like that, the constant disrespect. It's stunning towards my color of skin, my ethnicity, everything. I I saw everything in this election, and it's really sad that you know people still don't see it. But there's but the majority are, and it's something that we have to continue working because. It, our country is worth fighting for. This amazing country needs us not to give up. Our children's future is on the line. So we have to continue investing in the Hispanic community. We have to continue investing in our country because of our children. We're talking with Congress, former Congresswoman Myra Flores uh, from uh, Texas, and you are now embarking on a new venture. You have joined uh, Americana Media as a senior political contributor. Your experience of an elected official, you're the wife of a Border Patrol agent. Uh, this is a Spanish language conservative uh, network. So, what are you hoping right. to do with Americana Media? I'm hoping to do what I was doing honestly before in educating the Spanish-speaking community. Because if we don't, they're already doing it. They're spreading a lot of misinformation. They're saying the Republican Party doesn't want people like you here. The Republican Party is for the rich. The Republican Party is only for white people. You know, all this hateful messaging, that's what they're spreading in Spanish networks. Myra it's Flores. So important yeah. that we that we that we spread the conservative message in Spanish. How, how, last question for you. I'm sorry. Um, we're running no. against the clock here, but real quickly, if you might, have you seen a shift in the entire Hispanic community uh, from voting the straight Democrat ticket to more and more voting Republican? If so, how large is that shift? Well, from 2016 to 2020, there was an 80% shift in wow. South Texas. Okay. Significant. And then in, yes. And then in 22, it continues shifting towards the GOP. See, my district, after redistricting, was a Biden plus 16. We mm. cut that in half. It's now a D7. We overperformed. So we're seeing... Uh, major gains in South Texas. We're seeing major gains in the Hispanic community in the entire country. And that's a great thing. Um, America, yeah, how can people uh, consume Americana Media? Is it online? Is it uh, streaming? How do they do that? Yes, we are on our social media platforms right now, and hopefully um, we'll be starting a, a radio show very soon with them. So we're where everything is in the works right now. But yes, we're on all major platforms. We're on Facebook, we're, of course, on Twitter, Instagram, and please follow follow us for our, um, for our content, especially in Spanish. For our Congresswoman Meyer Flores, thanks so much for spending some time, and best of luck to you yes. on this uh, new venture. Thank you so much. God bless you.